the particulars, most importantly, of how a, a piece of live ammunition ended up on this property. It wasn't supposed to be on the property. It wasn't supposed to be on the truck. Alec Baldwin sat down with Good Morning America's George Stephanopoulos for an ABC special addressing the death of cinematographer Galena Hutchins on the New Mexico set of his film, Rust. The actor and producer gave a detailed timeline of what happened on October 21st, when Hutchins was fatally shot and Rust director Joel Souza was wounded after Baldwin, per the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office, discharged a gun that he believed was safe but actually contained a live round. Baldwin told the interviewer that they were doing a marking rehearsal, with Hutchins giving him instructions so she could line up a shot when they began filming. Baldwin said, I pulled the hammer as far back as I could without cocking the gun. I let go of the hammer and bang, the gun goes off. The gun was supposed to be empty. I was told I was handed an empty gun. If there were cosmetic rounds, nothing with a charge at all, a flash round, nothing. Baldwin said Hutchins went down and he and the crew were rushed out of the church where they were filming while medics attended to her. No one could understand, did she have a heart attack? Because remember, the idea that someone put a live bullet in the gun was not even in reality. Baldwin said it wasn't until later that he realized the gravity of what had happened. The notion that there was a live round in that gun did not dawn on me till probably 45 minutes to an hour later. 45 minutes to an hour. Hutchins was eventually airlifted to the hospital. For Baldwin, it wasn't until the end of his interview with the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office that he learned that the gun had been loaded with a live round and that Hutchins had died from her injuries. I would do anything in my power. I would do anything in my power to undo what was done. The criminal investigation into the shooting is being conducted by the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office and the New Mexico 1st Judicial District Attorney. Baldwin, Armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, and Assistant Director Dave Halls are among those under investigation. Two lawsuits have been filed as a result of the shooting. Baldwin said that he didn't want to wait for the lawsuits or investigations to conclude before telling his side of the story. For more from Baldwin's ABC interview, go to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.